I have been keeping careful watch against the abominations of abundance, the Stellaron hunters, and the disciples of Sanctus Medicus. But I never anticipated the antimatter legion. The hunt is far from over, yet all the while we find ourselves at war with other evil spirits. Hmm. From this battle onward, the Alliance must fight the Legion to our dying breath. Even if it means the end of the Law Fool. Our intelligence tells us that the Legion are a mad and destructive war machine. Yet they never took up arms against the Alliance. The armies of the Seven Ravagers all have their own means of destruction. They are not to be taken lightly. Lord Ravager Fantilia favors internal collapse, which is why she masterminded the Stellaron Crisis and urged the disciples of Sanctus Medicus out of the shadows. Now that her plot has been laid bare, she has no choice but to retreat. And yet that hardly suits her philosophy of destruction. There must be something more. Her hatching rebirth is complete. She left me all alone. Still. I wait for the day of my rebirth. Endless waiting. As recorded in the ancient texts, this body of water was brought by my people from our homeworld. It formed part of the roiling deep. It is as pure here as it was there. Our dragon ancestors nurtured us with the water of life and bestowed us with the permanence of the Vidyatara. Your friends are taking the fight to the Legion as we speak. We need to help them. Let's go! Heaven search! Rise! This is our chance. There's no time to lose. Sent a storm. Heavens, break! This is our chance. A foregone conclusion. 
conflict is pitiless. My turn! The times are changed. Changed. Heaven search. Break. There's no time to lose. Conflict is pitiless. Show no mercy. Forgive my late arrival, Lady Fu. We are indebted to you and your forces. The seat of divine foresight relayed the battle reports to me. As for Fantilia's plan... The Ambrosial Arbor. That's her focus. Lord Ravager Fantilia's strategy was to create civil strife. Then let it consume the Sien Zhou from within. She wanted to use the Arbor to disseminate the power of the Plague's author and turn the Lafu into a hell of undying abominations. Hmm. That is clear to me now. Friends of the Astral Express, I have brought someone with me whom I think you'll be eager to see. Huh? I is that... Don Hung? You... You are Don Hung, right? What's with the horns? It's a long story, March. It's me. So, you do have secret strength. <laughs> Let us save such reminiscence for later, shall we? My astral guess. When you first appeared on the Lafu, your stated aim was the resolution of the Stellaron Crisis. I was concerned that the Stellaron Hunters harbored ulterior motives and refused your offer. I see now that I was overly anxious. Nevertheless, it is true that the motives of the Stellaron Hunters were not what they appeared. <laughs> In order that the Express and the Sienjo fight side by side, Kafka lured you here and broadened the scope of the crisis. In doing so, she succeeded in making it clear that your sincerity is beyond doubt. The Lafu is in your debt, and I have no right to seek further assistance from you. However, as Lady Fu has explained, the appearance of Fantilia means that the situation is far from under our control. As General of the Lafu, it would be foolish of me not to ask Don Hong and the rest of you, for your strength at this critical moment. Even if the crisis on the Law Fu had nothing to do with the Stellaron, I would be willing to help. But I can't speak for the other members of my crew. Explore, understand, establish, and connect. As the crew of the Express, that's the Trailblaze Creed we follow. Still, when the journey gets tough, those words can feel far off. Fear, risk, Enemies and death are the obstacles we face in pursuit of the Creed. That's why the nameless who are able to stay the course number few indeed. Whether our destination lies before us or behind us, the decision is ours to make. Here, as on the Express, every vote counts.
Thank you, Don Hong. <laughs> How am I still one of the nameless? I stand here at the mercy of others without true freedom to speak. <sighs> but as a descendant of the Vidyadara, I will fulfill my duty to the Law Fu. <laughs> Great! Everyone's just as heroic as when they arrived. So, what's the master plan, General? There is no master plan. Only a bet. A bet on the senior Vidyadra's incomplete exuviation charm. And on Dong Hong's ability to access the memories of the High Elder. High Elder? When the Rainbow Arbiter severed the Ambrosial Arbor, remnants of the curse of the plague's author lingered. In order to make the stemming of those remnants a possibility, the Law Fu invoked the power of the Scions of Permanence. Under the direction of the High Elder, the Vidyadara guided the waters of the ancient sea to flood the Scale Gorge Waterscape Delve and contain the Arbor to commemorate this magnificent feat and sacrifice, the Alliance erected the Dragon Vista Rain Monument, a Vidyadara statue. Ah, oh, it looks so much like Don Hong. I wonder if... The statue... Is that... Don Hong's brother? I see why you might think so. These events occurred a long time ago, yet successive generations of High Elders have not differed greatly in their appearance. That is, until the current generation. The most recent successor did not inherit the same level of power, and their appearance is that of a child. Do you understand, Don Hong? Since Dong Fong perished, the Law Fu Vidyadra have no longer had an individual capable of performing such feats. But you, who once kept watch over the arbor, should be able to open a way through to that great tree. What happens next is in your hands. <laughs> The General still has important matters to discuss with you. Please remain here. You scared the heck out of me! For a second I thought you'd annoyed the General. It seemed like you were his prisoner. There I was, thinking up a plan to kidnap you, and it turns out the two of you are old buddies. So, what made you suddenly decide to come down from the express? Okay, okay. I won't push you. Everyone has their secrets. Besides, given the circumstances, my curiosity can wait. Anyway, it's great to have you with us, Don Hung. You know, still. You know, the more I look at this statue, the less Don Hungy it gets. Ah, still, it's got the same stony expression. <laughs> Bitter Lunay's reincarnation. Dong Hong, correct? I've heard your name before. Your name was only erased from the public eye. But as the Master Diviner, I know, and should know, all the records of years gone by. Such archives are of great importance in times of need. 
I was not born in the heroic and extraordinary era of the High Cloud Quintet. To have seen those legends with my own eyes. Your appearance closely matches the depiction in the annals. Does Vidyadara reincarnation really entail a complete transformation? A new life? Perhaps it is a little inappropriate of me to pry into the secrets of a Vidyadara. But your appearance closely matches the depiction in the annals. Does Vidyadara reincarnation really entail a complete transformation? I knew you'd come. When we first mentioned the Sienjo, there was a sad look in your eyes. They may have banished you, but the Lafu is still your home. You're a member of the Express Crew, Don Hung. Let's settle this matter as soon as possible. Our journey doesn't end here. Has coming here triggered your memory? Release your full potential. The power you carry is the key to opening a way through to the Ambrosial Arbor. The annals mention that Scale Gorge Waterscape was once the location of Dragon Palace. Small wonder. Look at all these submerged structures. I was fortunate enough to be here during the Shuhu upheaval period. I witnessed this place in its prime. An age passed. 
The palace was left in ruins, and the Vidyadra used their sacred homeland to imprison the arbor. The Lofu and the Sienjo are greatly indebted to them. <laughs> Lady Fu. Here, General. Remain here. Lead the Cloud Knights in defense of this passage. We must prevent further incidents. Jing Yuan. General, are you planning to face Gantilia alone? <laughs> I wouldn't say so. I'll be counting on a few friends. General, don't cast us aside. We're willing to go with you. Yes, General. We may not be the mightiest force, but it's our duty as Cloud Knights to protect the Xianzhou. How can we let Outworlders face the danger while we stay behind the lines? With your permission, sir, allow me to lead the way. I understand your sentiment, soldiers. But the adversary ahead of us is not an abomination of abundance. They are a Lord Ravager of the Antimatter Legion. Crossing this line will bring you into the conflict between the Rainbow Arbiter and the Ruin Author. You have a more important duty. Cloud Knights, attention! After I enter the Ambrosial Arbor, and if the seawater returns to its original state, you must withdraw immediately and seal off the delve once more. The Master Diviner will lead you. Yes, yes General! Lady Fu, if I am unable to return, I entrust you with the important task of relaying the full account to the other Sienjo ships. I trust you will be here to reissue the order in person. But whatever the outcome, I will do as you command and honor the mission. <laughs> Spoken like a true general. decision is made. That is the course we must take. I... <clears throat> Very well. In that case, I will report you to the preceptors and have you stripped of the name and power of the High Elder. This must be... the first High Elder that accepted the mission to quell the Ambrosial Arbor. According to tradition, from then on, Successive High Elders were obliged to return to the Dragon Vista Rain Hall. They would guide the tides of the ancient sea to guard and strengthen the Arbor Seal. Do you remember now? Yes. Reverence to the Three Talons, the path to the Great Roots. It's the way to the Root Depths. Uh, is that some kind of riddle? Reverence to the Three Talons? What the heck does that mean? Don't worry about it. Just follow me. Oh, what a huge palace. Completely abandoned. That must have been difficult for them. Imagine how upset you'd be if you had to abandon me. <sighs> for the Vidyatara, it must have been a necessary sacrifice.
This is one of the places mentioned in the riddle. One of the three talents. If we can break the seal here, we'll be a step closer to the roots of the arbor. Those seals you mentioned. Do you mean- Hey, check it out! The bases of these stone lanterns are different. Lanterns are different. From Lady Fu. The depth of Ventilia's infiltration, along with her meticulous plan, makes her extremely difficult to guard against. The Cloud Knights will carry out an investigation, but for now, our most pressing matter is to put a stop to Ventilia's scheme. voice. But what about the other person? So familiar.
This seal was already on the verge of breaking before the Ambrosial Arbor's resurrection. There are abominations up ahead. Careful, everyone. Stone the creature was stepping on. I wonder if it has any connection to the seal. to the third seal. General and the Ten Lords Commission. They performed regular inspections of Scale Gorge Waterscape. I would advise you to refrain from interfering with the Vidyatara. Uh huh? The Vidyatara? You mean these pearls will turn into people? When the life of a Vidyatara is over, 
They return to the ancient sea and form a shell before emerging anew. This is the hatching rebirth cycle. Talents is here. People sing the hymn of clouds and dance to water's cherished sounds. And high above the dragon flies to each is destined different skies. This mural portrays the Vidyata were young. They acquire knowledge and depart for different places on the Shenzhou, thereby dedicating themselves to serving the Alliance. This mural is pretty interesting. It looks like time hasn't had any effect on it. This mural must be related to the others here. It tells the story of the Vidyadara self-reincarnation, from hatching rebirth in the ancient sea, to the return to that same sea as the cycle begins again. Hey, do you think this could be related to the seals? Perhaps. Uh, perhaps? Uh, fair enough. It's tough racking your brains all the time. I'm struggling to keep track. Reincarnation's greatest cost, the wisdom of a past life lost. Yet through the teachings of our kind, unto the young again consigned. The mural depicts the Vidyadara being guided by their elder, a wiser kin after their rebirth. And as the day is almost gone, return alone to water's song. Beneath the waves in silver shell, await new life that time will tell. The worldly limit of the Vidyadra is reached after seven centuries. They return to the ancient sea and form a shell, awaiting the next hatching rebirth. the lunar glow adored, Vidyadara eggs begin to form, and from the ancient sea rebirth, to walk again on solid earth. This mural describes the Vidyadara hatching rebirth in the lunarescent depths, the beginning of self-reincarnation. What seems to be the problem, Frey? Hmm, it would appear the seals have you at a loss. Could the murals in our vicinity be related to the seals? What seems to be the problem, Frey? Hmm, it would appear the seals have you at a loss. What seems to be the problem, Frey? Hmm. It would appear the seals have you at a loss. 
Could the murals in our vicinity be related to the seals? What seems to be the problem, Frank? Hmm. It would appear the seals have you at a loss. Could the murals in our vicinity be related to the seals? What seems to be the problem, Frank? Hmm. It would appear the seals have you at a loss. Could the murals in our vicinity be related to the seals? begin to form, and from the ancient sea rebirth, to walk again on solid earth. This mural describes the Vidyadara hatching rebirth in the lunarescent depths, the beginning of self-reincarnation. Our reincarnation's greatest cost, the wisdom of a past life lost, Yet through the teachings of our kind, unto the young again consigned, the mural depicts the Vidyadara being guided by their elder, a wiser kin after their rebirth. Hmm. Our people sing the hymn of clouds and dance to water's cherished sounds. And high above the dragon flies to each is destined different skies. This mural portrays the Vidyadara young. They acquire knowledge and depart for different places on the Shenzhou, thereby dedicating themselves to serving the Alliance. As the day is almost gone, return alone to water's song. Beneath the waves in silver shell, await new life that time will tell. The worldly limit of the Vidyadra is reached after seven centuries. They return to the ancient sea and form a shell, awaiting the next hatching rebirth. to the three talons is complete. Now, we must head for the roots of the arbor. The roots of the arbor are still growing. It's Fantilia. We must hurry. to repay them. Uh, is that a dragon? We've reached the end. These are the roots of the Ambrosial Arbor where the vestiges of abundance lie. Reverence to the three talents, the path to the great roots. This is it. Under the power of the High Elder, 
The arbor's roots have formed into the image of a dragon. Now, I will break the final seal. I hope everyone is prepared.